Today's video is sponsored by Supermicro. Welcome back to Craft Computing, everyone. As always, I'm Jeff, here again at Supermicro's booth at Computex 2025. This time looking at one of the largest single servers that I've ever seen for GPU accelerated data centers. This 8U box is absolutely enormous and for very good reason. It contains not only your choice of a Supermicro X14 dual Intel Xeon 6900P or H14 dual AMD Epic Turin system, but also NVIDIA's HGX B300, a carrier board designed to hold eight of NVIDIA's dual die B300 Blackwell GPUs. The HGX B300 is an NVIDIA reference design, meaning any vendor who builds a box around it is going to be using the same carrier board and B300 GPUs as everyone else. But vendors like Supermicro get to decide how best to integrate the carrier board into their own chassis and systems, and that's exactly what they've done here. Let's start out looking at the NVIDIA portion of this server. The HBX B300 was announced at GTC back in March, and at the time was using the name NVL16. Now it's simply known as the HGX B300. The B300 also offers a significant performance boost over the B200, primarily due to its increased memory capacity and increased TDP. While the B200 features 192 gigabytes of HBM3 memory, the B300 steps that up to 288 gigabytes of faster HBM3E memory, allowing it to handle larger AI models and data sets. In terms of raw compute power, the B300 delivers up to 15 petaflops of dense FP4 performance, 50% more than the B200's 10 petaflops. It does all this despite having an increase of just 200 watts per GPU, from 1200 watts up to 1400. The carrier board supports up to eight SXM-mounted Blackwell Ultra GPUs, with a combined 2.3 terabytes of video memory between them. All eight GPUs are connected together through a pair of NVLink 5 chips, with up to 1.8 terabyte per second GPU-to-GPU -GPU bandwidth. NVLink 5 offers significantly lower latency and higher bandwidth than previous generations, about 1.5x faster than NVLink 4, and far outpaces traditional PCIe interconnects, which typically top out at about 64 gigabytes per second per link. This makes it ideal for scaling large transformer models across multiple GPUs with minimal communication overhead. And if a single HGX B300 system isn't enough for your needs, you can network multiple nodes together through integrated Connect X8 SuperNICs, offering up to 800 gigabit per second bandwidth. Well, obviously this is not going to be as fast as an NVL72 rack that we took a look at earlier. Not all businesses need that much bandwidth either. The HGX B300 presents itself then as a nice middle ground between Blackwell 6000 Pro base systems and NVIDIA's full rack or multi-rack units. The HGX B300 then is a bit of an odd product in both of NVIDIA and Supermicro's product stacks. NVIDIA often designs products that are either designed to be installed into your hardware, think PCI Express graphics or network cards, or what are called reference designs, where a system partner like Supermicro produces products exactly to NVIDIA specs, products like the NVL72 rack. This then is a bit of a hybrid though. The B300 carrier itself is a reference design from NVIDIA, but Supermicro has full control over the design of the rest of the system. That means they can use their own motherboard and CPU choices to connect to the HGX B300 carrier. Full control of the chassis design, and perhaps more importantly, cooling designs for the system as a whole. Supermicro has taken the HGX B300 and built out a number of different options depending on their customers' needs. First off, you need a CPU platform to connect to the GPUs, and you have the option of either an X14 with dual Intel Xeon 6900P series CPUs, or H14 and dual AMD Epic Turin-based platforms, depending on what you need. While it's true most AI tasks are typically handled by massive GPU clusters, x86 CPUs from Intel and AMD offer strong single-threaded performance and broad support for I.O. and networking interfaces. In an HGX B300 system, the x86 compute is still responsible for handling tasks like data pre-processing, model orchestration, and system management, while offloading compute-heavy operations over to the GPUs. The compute tray we have here is an Intel 6900P platform, and we've got a total of eight ES1 drive trays for fast NVMe storage, as well as a pair of 10 gigabit networking ports and a dedicated port for IPMI. On top of your choice of platform, you can also choose your cooling method as well. If you're installing into a traditional data center, you've likely already been set up for air cooling, and you could drop this box into an existing rack without any issue. However, if you're looking into water cooling, Supermicro again has you covered. The Supermicro HEX B300 is designed as a nice middle ground between PCI Express graphics servers that rely on air cooling and NVIDIA's massive GB300 water-cooled monster racks. It's a platform designed for mid-range AI and to be deployable in your existing infrastructure, no matter what you already have installed. The HEX B300 will be available from Supermicro sometime in Q3, so make sure to check out supermicro.com for more details. As always, I'm Jeff from Craft Computing here at Computex 2025, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers, everyone.